It's now the Times last day of severe weather awareness week. Our team's been bringing us up with all tips that we need to know all year long. Meteorologist, uh, Jen, thank you so much for coming on this morning. Jen Collins, uh, tell us a little bit what we know about heat, uh, especially when we warm up for the summer months. Well, man, Sam, the combination of high heat, heat and humidity during the summer months can cause temperatures to feel like 100 degrees or more for many days. And this can prevent significant health risk, including heat stress, exhaustion, and even heat stroke. Now, heat-related deaths are preventable. If you are outside, take lots of breaks, drink lots of water to avoid dehydration. Not only that, wear loose-fitting clothing and light colored clothing as dark colors absorb the sun's heat and will warm you up quickly. Finally, never leave children or disabled adults or even pets inside a parked car even for five minutes on a hot day. Your car's interior can heat up to 120 degrees in only 15 minutes and can even reach temperatures of 140 degrees after one hour on some days. According to the National Weather Service, 936 children have died in hot cars due to heat stroke since 1988. South Florida is also prone to wildfire danger, especially during the typically dry winter and spring season when there's little to no rainfall for extended periods of time. If conditions are favorable for fire development, the National Weather Service will issue weather watches and red flag warnings to indicate the location and time of the greatest threat. Now to learn more about extreme heat, wildfire danger, wildfire safety and other topics covered during Severe Weather Awareness Week, you can go to CBS12.com, type in severe weather in the search bar and you'll come up to those stories.